Tonight, we fly the T-7A Red Hawk from the Meringen Air Base in Bern to the Payerne Military Air Base in Fribourg, Switzerland. We will follow a short 50 nautical mile flight plan and perform an ILS landing on runway 23 at the Payerne Air Base. Let's get started with the flight plan entries. We depart from Lima, Sierra, Mike, Mike. Our destination is Lima, Sierra, Mike, Papa. We depart on runway 28. We arrive on runway 23. Our arrival procedure will follow the ILS for runway 23 with the IPY 13 transition. First up, remember to set the nav set to the GPS setting. Okay, here we go. One thirty and rotate. And gear up. Maintaining the approximate runway heading. We first climb to 10,000 feet to get us over this mountain ridge. Now leveling off to 10,000 feet and activating the autopilot to lock us onto our altitude. Now flying on autopilot. Now activating nav hold to direct us to the magenta heading set to the IPY 13 transition. We will land at the Payern Airport. This airport is a military airfield of the Swiss Air Force north of Payern in Switzerland, located approximately halfway between Lausanne and Bern. Payern Air Base has grown steadily over the years to become the main base of the Swiss Air Force. It is responsible for the air policing with a patrol of two armed FA-18s permanently ready to intervene within 15 minutes, 24-7. We are now approaching the top of our descent. Now beginning our descent to 5,000 feet to capture the ILS for runway 23. Speed brake up to reduce our airspeed to 250 knots. Airspeed creeping up again, so we'll hit the speed brake one more time. And our ILS has been captured, passing through 7,000 feet. We are now 10 nautical miles from waypoint IPY 13. 
now on a heading of 286 direct to IPY 13. Leveling off at 5,000 feet MSL. Hitting the speed brake one more time to reduce our speed to around 200 knots. Five nautical miles to waypoint, IPY 13. And slowing down one more time as we set up for our final approach. Now activating ILS-1 on the nav set with nav hold on. And gear down as we begin our final approach. Glide slope indicator is now alive, so we will disconnect the autopilot and hand fly the landing. Autopilot is off. Now watching three parameters, airspeed, glide slope, and the center line. We still need to pull a little more to the right to line us up. Watching the airspeed to land at about 145 to 150 knots. The wind is not a factor tonight. Runway 23 at the Pyron military base is 9,157 feet long and 131 feet wide. Almost lined up on the center line now, just a touch more. Holding real well on the glide path. The VOR frequency for runway 23 is 109.300. Now descending at 850 feet per minute. Two thousand feet above ground level. Pretty much locked in on the center line now. We are now on a four mile final. In case you missed it earlier, Runway 23 at the Payern military base is 9,157 feet long and 131 feet wide. Coming in just a touch fast right now. Three mile final. We are doing a great job on the glide slope here. Two white and two red lights on the Pappy confirm our 3% glide slope. Two mile final.
very stable on the approach now. Our touchdown speed is going to be just fine. Touchdown speed was 140 knots indicated. doing the last exit. G and F are definitely not high-speed runway exits. It's a long taxi back to the barracks, so let's check out the landing with the exterior cameras. Golf to November to the barracks. This concludes our short flight in Switzerland and the ILS landing demonstration in the T7A trainer jet. Please be sure to leave a comment below if you wish or if you have any queries. Till we meet again, blue skies to you and thank you for watching.